Fasten your seatbelts, stargazers. The James Webb Space Telescope has stepped onto the cosmic stage, and it's not here to play small. Imagine the Hubble as the classic rock star of space imagery. Now meet its latest chart-topping millennial sibling, James Webb. Launching its debut album of seven mind-boggling images, Webb is giving us a VIP tour of the universe like never before. We're talking galaxies throwing firework displays, distant stars that outshine your best Instagram filter, and black holes that make vacuums look lazy. So are you ready to swap your old telescope for a front row seat to the universe's greatest show? Hold tight, because this cosmic roller coaster has just left the station. Image number one, the cosmic puzzle of supernova 1987, a unveiling, a cosmic jigsaw that's as bewildering as it is captivating, Webb's near-infrared camera, better known as NERCAM, has recently offered us a deeply detailed glimpse of SN 1987A. What's a supernova, you ask? Imagine a star at the end of its life cycle, accumulating so much energy that it can no longer contain it. This star, finally giving in to its pent-up forces, explodes in a dazzling display of light and heat. That's a supernova, SN 1987. A isn't just any supernova, it's a remnant that carries tales of cosmic history etched in its very structure. Nestled in the constellation Dorido, this celestial wonder is not exactly next door. Try imagining a distance of 163,000 light years, so far away that the light we're seeing from it today actually started its journey around the same time that humans first began to leave Africa. To put it in simpler terms, light from SN 1987A has traveled 50 kiloparsecs to reach us. A kiloparsec is just a fancy term that astronomers use to describe 3,262 light years. So you could say this star went the long way to make its presence known to us. Now let's talk about this intriguing image itself. Stretching about 10.8 arc seconds across, which equates to roughly 8.5 light years, the image is a treasure trove of cosmic artistry. What appears at first glance to be a mess of shapes and emissions is actually a set of finely detailed structures, each telling its own chapter of the SN 1987A story. At the very heart of this celestial snapshot, the material spewed out from the supernova comes together to form an enigmatic keyhole shape. Why a keyhole shape? What forces sculpted it this way? Those are questions begging for answers. Flanking this central keyhole are two delicate crescents, almost like cosmic parentheses. These are new kids on the block, recently discovered by Webb's watchful eye. Situated beyond these crescents lies an equatorial ring, a circular belt of material that was actually hurled out from the dying star tens of thousands of years before it went supernova. This ring seems to sport its own variety of bright hotspots. What could these hotspots signify? Are they newly forming celestial bodies or perhaps signposts pointing towards even deeper cosmic mysteries? Outside this ring, the portrait doesn't lose its allure. What you'll see is a diffuse emission. Think of it like the glow around a candle flame, but on a cosmic scale. The image wraps up with two faint outer rings as if the universe itself is putting a final frame around this remarkable painting. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, ponder this. What secrets do celestial bodies like SN 1987A hold? In every burst of light and swirl of cosmic dust, there might just be a story waiting to be told. A story that thanks to marvels like Webb's NERCAM, we're just beginning to read. Image number two, The Stellar Forge, inside the whirlpool of creation and destruction in NGC 1792. Picture a cosmic cauldron, a swirling pot of star stuff, roiling and bubbling as it births new stars while saying farewell to older ones. This is the heart of NGC 1792, a galaxy that could aptly be described as a stellar forge, where the universe hammers and molds cosmic material into stars. This dazzling snapshot, captured by the Webb Space Telescope, pulls back the celestial curtain on what makes this particular galaxy so fascinating. Situated in the constellation Columba, also known as The Dove, NGC 1792 wears multiple hats. It's not just a spiral galaxy swirling in organized chaos. It's also a starburst galaxy. What does starburst mean? Picture a fireworks display, 
but with each firework being a star springing into existence. Here, stars aren't born at a lazy Sunday afternoon pace. Oh no, they form at breakneck speeds, up to 10 times faster than in our own Milky Way galaxy. As your eyes scan the imagery, you'll notice two striking colors, blue and orange. The blue patches scattered around NGC 1792 aren't random. They're neon signs screaming, new stars here. These are youthful, sizzling hot stars, so energetic they make their surroundings glow with azure light. In contrast, the orange hue glowing from the center is like the hearth of the galaxy. Here, you'll find the older, cooler stars, some of which might have been around for billions of years. It's like a cosmic retirement community, peacefully coexisting with the rowdy newcomers. Now, you might be wondering, how can a galaxy just keep making stars at such a furious pace? Doesn't it run out of materials? Ah, that's where things get tricky. Galaxies like NGC 1792 have a kind of fuel tank, a large reservoir of gas. These gas reserves could be ignited by various galactic events like mergers or tidal interactions to kickstart these periods of rapid star formation, known as starbursts. But wouldn't that exhaust all the gas? Here's the surprising part. The starburst itself contains a self-check mechanism. Just when you think the galaxy is going to use up all its gas and burn out, something extraordinary happens. Supernovas, the explosive deaths of massive stars, along with strong stellar winds, act like cosmic gusts, blowing the gas around. This disrupts the whole star-making process, effectively hitting the pause button on star formation. Why does this happen? Is this a universal pattern? These questions remain the focus of intense scrutiny among scientists who are trying to decode this complicated dance between the forces that both ignite and extinguish stellar fireworks. So, NGC 1792 isn't just another spiral galaxy in the night sky. It's a live laboratory demonstrating the ebbs and flows of cosmic creation and dissolution. As you look up at the heavens, ponder this in which other galaxies might such intricate cycles of birth and death be unfolding? What untold stories are hidden in each twinkle of the night sky? In the grand tapestry of the universe, galaxies like NGC 1792 are both the artists and the art, composing cosmic symphonies that we are only just beginning to hear. Image number three, Messier 66, a cosmic maestro in the Leo Triplet Orchestra. Imagine an ensemble of galaxies, each playing its role in a cosmic symphony. Tucked away within the celestial tapestry of the constellation, Leo, often represented as the Lion, is Messier 66, a spiral galaxy that could be considered a master composer in the cosmic score. As one of the standout members of the musical trio known as the Leo Triplet, which also includes Messier 65 and NGC 3628, Messier 66 doesn't merely exist, it thrives in a cycle of constant creation. So, what's so interesting about this specific galaxy that sits 35 million light years away from us? It may sound far, but in astronomical terms, it's akin to a neighbor just down the cosmic street. This proximity allows the Hubble Space Telescope to capture sharp images of it, revealing details that are ordinarily elusive in more distant galaxies. In fact, an eye-catching portrait of Messier 66 was unveiled as far back as 2010, known under the catalog entry Hike 1006, and it continues to draw scrutiny and awe. Messier 66 is a swirling hub of energetic star and star cluster birth, a phenomenon that has become a prime target of the Legacy Extragalactic UV Survey, or LEGUS. The goal of LEGUS is to take a closer look at regions and galaxies where stars are being made. What makes a certain part of a galaxy the perfect nursery for new stars? What conditions are needed for star clusters to form? These are questions Legus aims to answer. Because Messier 66 and its Leo triplet buddies are closer to us, they are ideal candidates for this sort of cosmic investigation. Yet this isn't just a one-man show. Messier 66 is part of a dynamic trio, a trio that is interlocked in a gravitational dance. These three spiral galaxies are close enough to each other to interact gravitationally. This is not a simple waltz. It's a complex choreography that can ignite new cycles of star formation and alter the galaxy's structures. How do these galaxies affect each other? 
Can these interactions lead to the birth of new celestial phenomena? Being so close to Earth, relatively speaking, Messier 66 is like a cosmic laboratory sitting right under our observational noses. It's a golden opportunity to study, in minute detail, the thrilling life cycles that govern these celestial bodies. The galaxy serves as an open book on the processes of star and star cluster creation and the gravitational interactions between galaxies. So when you look up at the sky and spot the constellation Leo, remember that within it lies a cosmic maestro. Messier 66, along with its fellow members in the Leo triplet, orchestrates a symphony of celestial phenomena that scientists are just beginning to understand. And who knows what other secrets are tucked away in its spiral arms, waiting for the next telescope to reveal them. Image number 4, NGC 5398 and its Lone Star Nursery, The Tale of Toll, 89. Peering through the cosmic murk, the Webb Telescope zooms in on NGC 5398, a barred spiral galaxy that lies in the constellation Centaurus. This celestial realm is a staggering 55 million light-years away from our home planet, Earth. You might ask, what makes this galaxy so fascinating? It is not just any ordinary galaxy. It holds within it a celestial puzzle that has captivated astronomers, a massive area known as Toll 89, the galaxy's primary workshop for star creation. What is a barred spiral galaxy, you ask? Picture a spinning top, glowing with countless stars. Now imagine a straight line or bar of stars running through the middle. This bar acts as a cosmic conveyor belt, pulling in material towards the galaxy's heart, where new stars come to life. Let's unravel the mysteries of Toll 89. It's an area brimming with what scientists call ionized hydrogen or HII regions. Simply put, ionized hydrogen is hydrogen that's lost an electron due to energetic events, like the birth of new stars. In scientific terms, you would represent ionized hydrogen as H2, with H standing for hydrogen and the 2 hinting at its ionized state. But why should we care about some gas cloud in a far-off galaxy? Because this particular ionized hydrogen cloud, Toll 89, is a prolific star-making factory, unmatched anywhere else in NGC 5398, occupying a space roughly 5,000 by 4,000 light-years in dimension. Toll 89 is a cauldron of activity. It is home to at least seven massive clusters of young, vibrant stars. Two of the most brilliant patches within this cloud have been labeled as A and B by astronomers, and they each tell a story. These sections of Toll 89 have experienced two significant flares of star-making activity, known as starbursts, approximately four million and less than three million years ago. That's a blink of an eye in cosmic time, but there's more. Tall 89A, one of these bright patches, is believed to be teeming with what are known as Wolf Rayet stars. These aren't your everyday stars. They are extremely bright and generate fierce winds that sweep through space. Imagine a leaf blower, but instead of air, it's blowing high-energy particles through the cosmos. These stars are rare, exceptionally hot, and their winds can play a role in shaping their galactic environment. So what can Toll 89 teach us? How can one region in a galaxy be so good at making stars when other parts are not? What triggers these starbursts, and could similar processes happen in our own Milky Way? These are the intriguing questions that make Toll 89 and its host galaxy, NGC 5398, an extraordinary subject for scientific inquiry. In conclusion, NGC 5398 is not just a spot in the sky, but a complex living entity with its own unique characteristics and mysteries. Its standout feature, Toll 89, invites us to ponder the unfathomable forces and events that come together to create stars, offering us a window into the mechanics of the universe itself. Image number five, the enigmatic puzzle piece, Nebula. NGC 248 in the small Magellanic Cloud, have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what stories each glimmering pinprick of light might tell? Well, one such tale comes from an unexpected corner of our local universe. The Small Magellanic Cloud, a nearby galaxy that serves as a captivating laboratory for cosmic phenomena. Within this galaxy lies an extraordinary area, a piece of celestial artistry known as Nebula NGC 248. 
the small Magellanic Cloud is not just your run-of-the-mill galaxy. It's actually a satellite galaxy to our Milky Way. Think of it as a smaller, less populated town near a bustling city, a unique place where scientists conduct a variety of cosmic studies. One such study is the Smidge Survey, an initiative that focuses on gathering comprehensive data about this galaxy. Now, what makes NGC 248 so compelling within this already intriguing landscape? Nebula NGC 248 is like the crown jewel in the heart of the small Magellanic Cloud. Imagine a dazzling, glowing cloud made up of gas and dust, all intricately woven together by the laws of physics. But what's so special about a bunch of gas and dust? Well, in the universe, these elements are the building blocks of stars, and by studying them, we can better understand how stars and even galaxies come to be. So, why do scientists care so much about NGC 248? It's simple. The nebula holds clues to some of the most pressing questions about our universe. How do stars form? What conditions make some regions of a galaxy more fertile grounds for star formation than others? What kinds of elements are most prevalent in these areas? And what does that tell us about the history of the universe itself? These are the riddles that Nebula NGC 248 beckons us to unravel. When looking at images of the small Magellanic Cloud, NGC 248 stands out, almost as if it's saying, Study me. I hold secrets that can help unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. The Smidge Survey highlights this nebula's unique position, like a treasure marked on a cosmic map, guiding astronomers and curious minds alike towards a better understanding of our celestial neighborhood. To sum it up, NGC 248 isn't just a nebula in a nearby galaxy. It's a unique subject, rich with insights waiting to be unearthed. It calls us to expand our knowledge and deepen our understanding of how the universe works, one gas cloud at a time. And as we probe its depths, we come one step closer to decoding the cosmic narrative that has been written across the expanse of space and time. Image number six, the intimate portrait of Alpha Centauri, more than just celestial neighbors. Imagine you could gaze into the eyes of your next door neighbor through a telescope so powerful you could almost see the universe reflected in their eyes. That's a bit what it's like when we turn our telescopic sights to the Alpha Centauri system, our closest celestial neighbors. Located a mere 4.3 light years away in the constellation of Centaurus, this tantalizing trio of stars offers scientists, and us, a front row seat to study stellar relationships and the hunt for other worlds like our Earth. The star-studded family consists of three main characters, Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, locked in a cosmic dance as a binary pair, and their fainter, more solitary companion, Proxima Centauri. What does binary mean in this context? Simply that these two stars, A and B, are so gravitationally attracted to each other that they circle around a common center of gravity. It's a stellar tango that takes them 80 years to complete. Thanks to the unparalleled capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have a captivating view of this stellar duo, shining like extraordinary lighthouses in the cosmic ocean, Alpha Centauri. A sits on the left and B on the right, their images captured in stunning detail at optical and near-infrared wavelengths. What do these wavelengths mean? Well, they're like different colors of light that our eyes can't usually see but are incredibly useful for scientific observation. Here's where things get even more interesting. Alpha Centauri A is what scientists call a G2-type star, which is the same category our own sun falls into. It's like the sun's more robust cousin, just a bit larger in size. On the flip side, Alpha Centauri B is a K1-type star, which means it's a little smaller than both A and our sun. How close do they get to each other? They maintain a minimum distance of roughly 11 times the space that separates Earth from the sun. But wait, there's more to this family than just the binary pair. Remember Proxima Centauri as the most solitary member. This red dwarf star also holds its own secret, a planet in the habitable zone, meaning it's at just the right distance for liquid water to exist. This planet was announced to the world with great excitement on August 24, 2016. Could it or any planets around Alpha Centauri A and B harbor life? Due to their proximity to Earth, these stars are among the best studied in our cosmic backyard 
and are prime targets for scientists searching for habitable planets beyond our solar system. The HARPS instrument has already revealed a planet in orbit around Alpha Centauri b, adding another layer to the system's intriguing profile. So the next time you look up at the night sky, think about our closest neighbors, Alpha Centauri. What secrets might they be keeping? What other worlds could be circling them? As we continue to scrutinize this captivating trio, each revelation brings us one step closer to understanding our place in the grand tapestry of the universe. Image number seven, the cosmic cannons, understanding jets from supermassive black holes. Picture a fireworks display, not in the sky during a 4th of July celebration, but in the endless tapestry of space with a supermassive black hole as the pyrotechnician. What we're talking about here is a fascinating spectacle involving high-speed jets of plasma being fired off by a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy. Ever wonder how something so dense, so powerful, could create a phenomenon that is, for lack of a better word, explosive? Let's start with some basics. What is a supermassive black hole? Simply put, it's a region of space where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. Now most galaxies, including our Milky Way, have one at their centers. These black holes are usually surrounded by a disk of material. Think of it like water circling a drain. When this material gets too close to the black hole, it can be pulled in at dizzying speeds. This process is far from calm. It's an almost violent extraction of energy that ends up propelling jets of charged particles, what scientists call plasma, at nearly the speed of light. These aren't just little spurts. They are colossal jets that can stretch for thousands of light years. What's interesting is that these jets are particularly vibrant at radio wavelengths. But what does that mean? Well, different kinds of light have different wavelengths. And radio wavelengths are what our radios on Earth use to pick up signals. In space, these wavelengths are so strong that they can be picked up by special telescopes, allowing scientists to study them in remarkable detail. The galaxy we're looking at isn't your run-of-the-mill star city. It falls under a category that scientists label as AGN, or Active Galactic Nuclei. This means that its central region is unusually bright and active, largely because of the supermassive black hole and its energy-spewing antics. In essence, the black hole isn't just sitting there, it's the life of the cosmic party. So why does all of this matter? First, these jets help us understand the most enigmatic objects in the universe black holes. They give us a glimpse into the mechanisms that not only fuel black holes, but also influence their surrounding environments. Secondly, they allow us to probe deeper into the early universe. These activities give us clues about how galaxies evolve and interact over cosmic timescales. Have you ever thought about how a black hole famous for swallowing everything could also be a source of such dynamic outflows? The paradox is as thrilling as it is puzzling. Each jet that bursts from a supermassive black hole is like a new chapter in a gripping cosmic drama, compelling us to ask, what else is out there? How do these jets impact the galaxy they reside in? As we unlock these secrets, we're not just spectators, we're cosmic detectives unraveling one of the universe's most captivating mysteries. Wow, star travelers, you've just voyaged through the seven wonders of the web world. So tell us, which celestial snapshot stole your heart? Was it the galaxy that seemed to have inhaled a triple espresso? Or perhaps the black hole that makes your daily drama look like a comedy sketch? Before you blast off, do us a solid. Hit that like button harder than a comet hitting the atmosphere. And if you haven't subscribed yet, come on. Click that subscribe button like you're launching a spacecraft. Ready for another galactic escapade? Simply click on the video that's levitating. Uh, I mean appearing, right on your screen now. Stay curious, stay starry-eyed, and as always, may your curiosity be as infinite as the universe.